Today we're going to be exploring the fuel tanker we sunk in yesterday's video. Let's get started. So to get the submarine started, we have to unlock the reactor here and basically just click that. And there we go. Now we have to wait for that number right there to go to three to 4,000 and then we can start driving. But while we're waiting, we're of course going to turn on some systems here. So we're going to be activating radar and sonar so we can track um, this ship. And we're going to be using LIDAR today to actually see where it's at underwater. So we're going to get some laser images of it. But supposedly its last known location was 16.7 kilometers away and it's pretty far deep in the water so this is going to be an interesting um search here there we go now that it's at 3300 we're going to absolutely full throttle so up and down is your throttle not this thing right here a lot of people think this is your throttle but that's just how fast these steering thrusters go on the front here but we are going 16 kilometers that way and we need to find like the right area to dive at because it is pretty shallow so we're not trying to do that yet we are at a very strong list here um that's probably because i turned really hard but let's see if that's our ballast control bottom right does actually have water in it so that's probably why so we're going to drain the bottom right because that's definitely filling this up so completely drain that and there we go now we should start being even but then we're going to fill the bottom left and it should even out pretty well here there we go bottom left has 10,000 liters in it and we are almost about to level out and it's just um angling us because of these waves here this thing is not really good in waves so if this thing does flip when you spawn it in be sure to turn off waves but let's just run a little bit of a tour of this thing so i did build this it is on workshop and a link is in the description so right here is our crew quarters so this is where we sleep this is our computer room so this is where all the computers go on this is our cool rov right here that's his um logo and then down here we have a full-blown kitchen of course and this thing's leaning to the left really bad now all right but then back here we have the entire reactor so this room will be filled with radiation if that thing explodes so and we have this hallway with a bathroom and a laboratory right in here which it is a pretty cool looking laboratory we can even start the experiment but we're not going to do that yet we're not really doing that then we have an hvac room right in here which we can turn on submarine wide heat which will change the atmospheres of all of these and then we can turn on submarine wide ac which will turn on all these fans but then we have the uh captain's quarters right here so this is actually my bedroom so why don't we go up here because i did see an island and we're not trying to hit it so let's go back up to the control room so let's go ahead and check how deep it is it does look pretty deep but let's see um our bottom distance oh we could definitely fill this thing all right we're gonna be filling all of our ballast here we're gonna be diving immediately um we're not gonna go too far deep and we might have to resurface when we do this lidar scan here because that's better off so there we go we're underwater we are full speed still so this thing is absolutely hammered all right it is um 11 kilometers in front of us let's see if we can see it on any sonar here i don't know if we could but there's a radar target quite near us what is that is there a boat nearby it might be that oil rig right there um there should be a boat though okay but that is it oh okay it's a radar target on that island so that might mean there's a person on that island i wouldn't be surprised oh yeah there is because it says um there's someone on it okay yeah there's definitely someone on that island uh we're just lurking underneath them they don't even know that we're here probably but we do have about one kilometer of sonar range so we won't be detecting it for a little bit here it might just be a couple more minutes and we will start picking up a sunken ship which is going to be quite interesting and I did um, lock someone in a jail cell before we left and they were in a waterproof room. So I wonder if they're still in there and they're like still alive, but they're just like at the bottom. I mean, that'd be quite interesting. Maybe we could try rescuing them, but that is going to be very um, hard to do. I'm going to get ready with this scuba suit here. Uh, we're picking something up on sonar directly in front of us to the right a little bit. What is that? Okay, um, we need to divert our course here. So where's it somewhere over there, I think. All right, we turned a little bit to the right here. All right, we're going to try resurfacing here. We're going to blow the ballast, even though that's only for emergencies, but who cares? We're blowing the ballast just like that. Perfect. And where's this thing at? Okay, so it's still to the right of us a little bit more. Okay, that's fine. So we're basically directly to our right here in a bit. Wait, hold on. I think I see like a light underwater. Do you guys see that? It's like that thing right there. I don't know. Hold on. Um, I'm going to be going towards it here. Oh, gosh. Okay, you know what? Um, This isn't good. What's going on with the submarine? So if we look on our camera right here, I think that's actually it right there. I have a clear view. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, that's definitely it. And even in IR mode, we can clearly see that that's a sunken ship. Okay, we're going to be going over right above it and take a lidar scanner um, picture of it and we're going to see kind of what this thing is all about so we're directly above it right now right perfect and then now we're going to be taking a uh, lidar scanner photo of it so let's go up here in our lidar control and click this um, large image right here so we're going to click large just like that and now it's scanning the bottom of the ocean and it's currently looking for this ship so once this laser actually um runs over it here and it'll be a little bit but uh it'll be up here where the ship is actually going to be at here we go so that's the bottom of the ocean right there now we should start scanning it here any second how far is the laser from the actual ship okay it's like really close to it so any second like right over here it should start scanning it oh there we go we're getting something up here oh there it is guys i think that might be the sunken ship we're actually seeing currently oh gosh yeah that's definitely it 
It isn't as clear as we want it to be, but that's definitely it. So it's basically sitting vertical. I'm going to zoom it in here a little bit. So we're scanning it on a more zoomed in version, but this is all we're going to get, guys. But clearly that's something down there that shouldn't be. So we're going to go explore that with our ROV here. So why don't we go ahead and get in the seat and click connect so we have a video display. There we go. That's our laser right there actually scanning it still. And yeah, that's definitely a shipwreck. All right, so let's get this thing set up. So let's turn on our um, spotlights and then we're going to disconnect it. And then we have a map here of where it's at. There we go. It has just been disconnected. We are dropping it straight to the bottom here. Oh gosh, this is going to be interesting. I wonder what it's going to look like. Um, we did just sink it yesterday, but it might, you know, be very decayed. Oh, there it is, guys. Right there, the sunken ship. I do see it clear in our um, photo camera here. Oh, geez, I'm already down with it right here. Oh, this thing's dropping really fast. Okay, let's pull up here. Okay, we don't want to hit the ship. Okay, here we go. We're going to be turning a little bit here. There it is, guys. That's the bottom of the ship right here that we're currently looking at. That's some of its um thruster maneuver things. Wait, I think that's actually the side of it. Oh, gosh. Okay, we're not trying to run into it here. Oh, okay. Oh, my gosh. Look at that thing's just completely vertical. That thing sunk quite interestingly. It looks like the bottom filled up with water first top, and it looks like there's actually still some air up there, probably. That's why it is still floating, but they have some damage on the back right there which means they hit the bottom going pretty fast so i don't know if that person in the jail is still alive but we need to go down there probably asap and look but we're gonna be um kind of looking in the cockpit here see if we can see any um actual people that'd be slightly concerning if we did but that'd be also good if we did so here we go we're getting up close here um these lights do get very bright the closer we are but there it is um we should probably go back up and reattach this rov and then we're gonna go down there in a scuba suit and actually see what's going on so there we go we're going completely vertical i think that's our submarine right there or um i don't know is that it doesn't look like it all right i do see our submarine it's directly Directly where that 238 is at at the top of the monitor here we are going like absolutely vertical right now oh wait we're stalling wait what how are we stalling underwater i don't even know okay that's interesting there it is guys our submarine is right here in front of us we're going to try reconnecting to it so let's disable launch rov this thing took so long to actually um get back up here so it's a little bit of an issue trying to get back up but it can go down pretty fast which is um a little bit concerning but here we go will we be able to um connect it this time i don't know if we're high enough we're definitely not high enough but we're gonna try getting high enough there we go it's looking pretty good here we go we are coming in hot oh gosh i think we're gonna stall here all right there we go we're coming in straight from behind and we're gonna line it up with the yellow thing just like that okay we need to rise altitude here or technically rise our depth oh gosh here we go we're trying to connect this this is actually taking a long time to connect this thing is really hard to connect guys but you can actually do it okay um launch rov is off and then we need to rise it here just like that and we need to like be scraping the top to um prepare to connect to this thing so we're gonna rise altitude here and here we go we're starting to scrape the top just like that perfect we're doing what we want turn right really hard turn right turn right oh my gosh stop it's stalling oh it's stalling here we go all right this should be it this should be it right here and will it connect and it is not oh we connected it there we go all right we have reconnected the rov but there we go we reattached the rov but now we're going to be actually diving down there so we have just equipped our scuba suit and now we're going to be leaving the submarine here and we're going to go underwater pretty far and see what it kind of looks like so we're going to be closing this hatch here we did learn that the last time because a mini tsunami actually went over we're going to be going down below here we go we are diving straight in wait why isn't it covering my face okay i think we'll be fine okay we see the ship really far down there hopefully it isn't too deep hopefully we don't get crushed but i think we'll be fine oh gosh okay we're gonna see if there's any bodies also I, I can see my submarine in the shadow right there it like disappears when i look at it though that's really weird but here it is guys i don't see anyone yet but we're probably gonna see a couple bodies here all right so we're gonna enter through this door right here all right so their weather display thing is still on that's actually insane whoever drove this ship must have been really dumb because he um sunk this thing in a stupid way i've never seen this before but um yeah all these doors are open i don't know what they were really thinking Thinking, to be honest i'm um, down here there are some bedrooms that are highly damaged oh my oh oh that's not what you want to see okay we have a body um i don't know if we're going to be able to recover it but there is a body they are completely deceased okay that's going to be their graveyard we're just going to shut that door right there that's their room forever because um i cannot be carrying any bodies to the surface unless they're like completely alive but i'm back here in these rooms here there is no one in there all right so let's drop another floor here see if there's anyone down here i knew there was like four or five people on this boat when it did sink so we are searching for the remains of uh at least four of them here so we're not seeing anyone in this room over here i don't know why that's quite interesting because there definitely was more people um in this actual room when it sunk i thought um okay there's nothing up there we'll check in a second here but let's go ahead and check this jail cell down here this is gonna be interesting all right so the jail wasn't on that side so that means it must be on this side over here and then straight up so right here that's the jail right there so i think there's still actually a lady inside of there oh gosh this is gonna be creepy hopefully we don't see a skeleton wait is that her right there is that her foot oh 
Wait, I think she's still alive. Um, hello, ma'am, are you okay? Wait, that kind of looks like Debbie, but it's not her. Um, okay, well, it's good that they put you in the jail because you're still, like, alive. But, um, I don't know how I'm gonna get you out of here. Oh, my gosh, we are so deep right now. You don't even want to know. Okay, we'll open that door and try taking her out of here in a bit. But we're gonna kind of still explore. Look for more actual, um, bodies here. So we're going up this hatch right here. So this is all where all the fuel would be stored inside of all those, um, rooms right there. I don't know why they're open. That's definitely why it's sunk. But in here, um, is there any air in here? That'd be actually quite impressive. I don't think there is, though. There's definitely no air. Um, what about down here? Anything going on down here? Yeah, there's... I don't know where the rest of the bodies went. Maybe they just, like, decomposed already? I don't know. That definitely shouldn't have happened. Or maybe they escaped on the lifeboat. That could be a possibility, too. But I thought there was definitely more people in here. Was this the kitchen I already went in? I think it might have been. Yeah, I don't know. There's not enough people in here that they said there were so maybe we have to check this side over here no there's literally nothing over here um that's interesting okay so we need to kind of plan an escape route to um get this person actually out of this thing so we need to go over here immediately and is there any uh okay so we run through that door right there and then we can just resurface through there um, i actually do have a um emergency resurface on my life vest right here that we can deploy um just in case so here we go i need to actually rescue this person this is gonna be interesting and um npc damage is on okay jail door wait where does she go okay she's right there um it's gonna flood in that room this water is very cold i can tell you that so you need to get ready here we go we're flooding the room all right i'm gonna grab you and how do we get out of here okay we swim over here we go up the staircase right here oh i missed okay go 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 we need to go fast okay here we go she's definitely drowning right now we don't want her to drown yet okay here we go now we go right here and emergency resurface okay i just blew my emergency deflaty thing it is that red thing right there we are trying to resurface as fast as we can oh gosh she's definitely taking on water in her lungs we need to hurry up go 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 we might have to do cpr on her when we resurface here because it's definitely not looking too good here we go 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 oh this is not good okay that's our rov right there we are trying to swim back up and there we go we have just resurfaced okay let's lay her down on the top right here let's make sure she's okay okay she oh oh she's definitely not okay okay we need to start immediate medical tension on her we need a defibrillator immediately oh i'm gonna take off my scuba suit here that is just extra weight i do not need right now there we go all right we need to enter through this hatch right oh i accidentally threw her down oh i'm so sorry okay hopefully you did not break any bones okay uh do we have a medical bed in here oh i just did it again oh uh, i think i shut her face in the door oh gosh i'm definitely getting fired okay did i even put a medical bed in this thing okay i know we have a defibrillator all right we're gonna do it right on here on this floor so defibrillator just like this and three two one clear there we go all right you're back alive okay that's good and then that's another image of the ship we got which is um way better actually all right here we go we need to bring you um to a bed over here is there any medical beds in here i don't think i actually put any medical beds in here that's um interesting all right we're gonna set you right here i'll give you some first aid there you go you are full on health you just stay laying there you definitely need some rest but what we're gonna be doing now is actually dive this thing straight down there we're gonna try seeing the um sunken ship with our submarine so we're gonna be filling the ballast here so filling all ballots we need to turn on um, this button off here turn that off there we go all right we are filling all ballots this thing should sink here any second there we go we are dropping underwater here and we're going to throttle wait what's that oh that's my scuba suit okay i thought that was a body i was a little bit concerned but there we go we're starting to throttle down now it is directly under us so why don't we turn on our um spotlights underneath us and our nav lights those actually probably should have been on this entire time and we're going to use our thrusters here to turn towards it much faster so we are turning as hard as we can right currently oh gosh there it is guys okay we're gonna get a little bit closer here we have a clear view of it actually on our monitor so we're gonna throttle up here just like that okay we're on max throttle we need to be careful here we're not trying to run into it oh that's the bottom of the ocean we are getting really low here oh gosh this is um oh we're about to hit the bottom uh oh that is not good we just hit the ocean floor okay seabed that is not something we want to hit okay disable fill all ballast we definitely don't need that on that's not helping us at all i can tell you that you're scraping the bottom right now okay i don't know if this was that good of an idea oh gosh oh gosh okay what do we do here so we're going to be um should we emergency oh Oh, we might have to actually do that now. Um, I was actually going to joke about that, but we might have to do that. Okay, we need to throttle all the way down. We are having an active emergency right now. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Okay, we are having a definitely emergency. Okay, we're going to send this to the research center right now because we are, um, I don't know if we're going to live much longer, but we're going to be blowing our ballast here and there we go. Um, okay, everything is still intact. Just our sonar and everything is damaged. Okay, we're having some issues here. Any water. We're definitely taking on water in here. So main hallway 
and the lavatory. Okay, lavatory. We're going to be turning on bilge pumps for both of those rooms, and it should go back down. Let's kind of do a damage check down there, see. Um, but our reactor is doing fine. So let's go down there, do a damage check, and see if there's actual any visual water. I'm sorry if uh, you woke up from your nap. We just had a slight issue. They did say there was water down there. Oh, there definitely is, guys. Oh, gosh. There's definitely water in there. Okay, we need to let water out of that room to um, help the ballast tank here. So it'll help the bilge pumps um, better if we do open that. So there we go. It is filling up with water concerning fast i think we need to get back up there oh no guys we're about to go like completely vertical here i'm gonna throw it in reverse and hope i'm gonna try leveling it out here with our propellers here so just like that okay we are in reverse and there we go all right we're fine so what we're gonna do here is actually emergency resurface that's definitely necessary so here we go everyone brace for impact oh here we go all right all of our thrusters are trying to push us up we have some rocket boosters going on in this thing so that is um some pretty powerful air right there actually not rocket boosters but it is trying to propel us up and there we go i think we're gonna resurface perfectly fine that is awesome just like that perfect exactly how we planned this thing to actually work when we emergency resurface so what we're gonna do is turn that off and there we go we did resurface that was a really interesting rescue mission slash um sunken ship exploration that was really cool though but that's probably going to be it for this video guys let me know what we should explore next with this research submarine of mine that i built the link is in the description but make sure you guys like and subscribe hit that bell join the discord but thanks for watching and goodbye